of legacy do you want to have? Wow, what kind of legacy do I want to have? I would like to be remembered for giving to my passion everything that I had. I grew up in North Texas in a town called Sherman. Yeah, it was a cool experience. I, you know, I had a lot of close friends and, you know, it was, it was neat, but it also, you know, it fueled the fire to, to get out of there because I wanted something more. I wanted to like experience more. I wanted to see the world. I wanted to like have new opportunities and experiences and be around like-minded people that were also passionately pursuing their dreams. In retrospect, it was a great place to grow up because it really propelled me to get out of there. Um, and now, you know, looking back, it's like, I don't, I don't see how it could have went any other way, you know? Losing my mom, time seemed completely irrelevant to me. I mean, I felt that it was infinite, that I had so much left, and everyone around me had so much left. And when I uh, experienced the loss of my mother, it really was an eye-opening thing uh, where I realized we really don't know, you know, um, how much time we have. And, that's what made it vital for me to begin creating every day because I wanted to have proof of the time that was passing. I didn't want it to just pass and then have nothing to show for it at the end of the day, you know. So I really decided to buckle down and work hard and create every day so that in a way I'm kind of fighting off, you know, the limitation of time by embracing how little time there is. You know, I think there's so much in the uh, the journey of it, you know, the discovery in the painting of letting that painting take on a life of its own and get to where it wants to get. I mean, I'm, I'm just a vehicle for that uh, expression to take place and I have to allow it to flow through me and present it in a visual way that other people can consume. If you give yourself a limitation, you say, all right, well, the painting's not, you know, the painting's done when it looks like this. Like, say you got a drawing or a sketch, it looks, it's done when it's like this. <clears throat> You're never gonna let yourself go to those places that you would have, you know, otherwise found when you're just going at it blindly, you know? And, and it is scary because you don't know how that's gonna turn out. But that's the thrill of it. That's when you get those butterflies in your stomach and you go like, now nah, I'm doing something real. You, you abandon the art. You don't 
finish it. And when I get to that point where I can abandon it, where I can walk away and know like, hey man, I gave it 200%, that is the best feeling because usually I've crossed so many hurdles. I've broken so many barriers of my own, of my own barriers, you know, my own limitations, of my own fears, of my own perception of what a painting should be, that when I finally reach that other place, it's, unequivocal to anything else it's just the absolute contentment of my spirit to know that I gave all I had and I created something that's truly remarkable Do you see your art being timeless? I think my art is built on the same fundamentals as all of the great art that came before it, which is honesty, um, truth, and uh, an unending wonder and hunger for uh, the endless possibilities of life. And I think that's what makes an artwork timeless, when you can capture that essence and present it in a way that others can observe and relate to and understand, then, then I think you've hit the mark. And, and that's, that's what I aim to achieve with every, every new painting. Your head. Right now I'm just getting to a place where I feel pretty good about it. I kind of, when I hit that place, I gotta just take a break for a few and see how it looks when I get back. It always changes when you get back. What kind of legacy do you want to have? I would like to, for my story and, and my work to be an inspiration to others. And, and if it leaves someone with the feeling that they too can do anything and that everything is possible, then that would be for me the ultimate uh, way to be remembered. Thank you.